Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Treasure Adventure Game! Okay, without further ado, let's just start this up. Okay, I was a little bit stuck last episode because I didn't know where to go and it seemed like I'd reached a dead end. But, I think I've got an idea on where to go now. A helpful viewer pointed out that up here as soon as I get to the area, there's a secret door cleverly hidden behind some shrubberies. Which is kind of annoying. I don't like it when games do that. I wish that um, all the puzzles and challenges are in, like, at least somewhat a visible location. And that all the hidden areas... <sighs> what was I going with this? Story essential items shouldn't be hidden to this degree. I think that's a little bit annoying because it's the kind of stuff which makes people not like adventure games very much if they don't know where to go. But yeah, up here. You guys may not see it, but oh, what is this? Behind the leaves, there's a doorway. Let's see where it leads. There's a jar. Let's bust open the jar and ignore the cheese which flies out of it and go down here and go to the treasure chest. Oh my god, it's the map! It's the sail map! Hurrah! Okay, with the sail map in our possession, we can try to climb back out of here. And we'll go down there and tell Mr. Purple Hat Salesman that we just picked up the map. Alright, the map looks as lead us to a sail. Now that you have a compass, we should be able to find it, no problem. Open the menu to look at your maps. You can browse through your maps with the arrow keys. Then use the action button to select which map you want to use. That's where your compass will always point to the location of the map. This compass will probably only work outdoors. Now let's follow that map and find a sail. Okay then, Mr. Bird Guy. I'm not sure if you've got a name or not, or I may not be paying attention, but let's have a look. We got a blue map, or a purple map. Okay, so we select that one, and then head in the direction the compass says, I believe. Now, or I could just take a look and see that it's, it's at X minus 204 and Y3. So I need to go down to the correct Y plane. And it looks like I want to head this way. So let's head this way! Oh no, it's the piranha fish! They're attacking me! Don't attack me, piranha fish! Go away! We're heading back to what appears to be civilization of some kind. And the glorious dual moons of this place are rising slowly over the horizon. In all their majesty. I guess. Hurrah! Okay, I believe the compass, if that giant red arrow is to believe, to be believed, is still to the left. It's quite a distance away. Oh, what is that? What happened there? Oh, I think I just ate an apple, which restored the little piece of health I lost when the fish jumped up and attacked me. Okay, still heading this way. We can show off our new purple hat now! Aren't we awesome with our purple hat? It's amazing! Alright, at, at least we're off that island with the tree. I was getting really sick of that place. Whee! Wait a second. Nope, still needs to head this way a little bit more. Splooch. <sighs> so how are you guys doing? I'm glad to hear it. And I don't believe I've actually been on this side of the island before. So this is a first for us. Oh, looks like the arrow's pointing down this way. And now we're going to see some bees. And some... Candy cane monsters. Oh, candy cane monsters, you're so hilarious. 
Why you gotta always be in my business? Wait a second, I think we went past it. Oh, this bee's actually shooting missiles at us. It's a uh, new improved kind of bee. That map says that this is the entrance to a cave. The sail must be somewhere inside. But I don't see an entrance at all. Remember, you can press up to interact with things in the environment. Try searching around for an entrance to this place. Well, apparently our awesome strength of a protagonist just enabled us the ability to just bust through that solid wall of rock. Yay for us, let's go inside. And now we're fighting worms, it looks like. Hmm. Are these worms going to hurt us? Or we talk to them? Hey there, brother sister. Brother sister. You were a weird looking worm. Haven't seen any new, anyone new around here in ages. Where'd you come from? Why is the ground shaking? From outside? Wow! Mother father is going to want to meet you. What's with all these gender neutral greetings? You can find her him by climbing up here and taking a right. Don't know how to climb, right? Just jump up toward the tunnel and press up. Now that's crazy! How am I able to do that? There are doors. I can't climb up those walls. I guess it just needs to be narrow enough to climb up. Hmm. Good old adventure games always require exploration. So how about we go this way first? Did you know that you can lift things that have a growing aura around them? It's true! Try lifting that rock over there! Just swing that arm of yours and you should be able to carry it over your head. Swing your arm again and you can toss that thing. So simple, really? Alright, let's try it out. I wish the ground wasn't shaking, that's kind of scary. Alright, so it looks like I'm... I'll put the rock down there. Have a chat with this guy. Long before Mother Father closed and locked the gate to the outside world, a visitor installed this elevator for us. However, it's rested up some since then, and no one knows how to repair it. It still works, but it takes the weight of at least two of us to push it down the lever all the way. Hmm. Now this looks like a pretty gnarly puzzle. I wonder how it's solved. Ugh. That was the worst throw ever. There we go. Oops, just turn it up there and then go up here. We fixed your elevator for you, Mr. Guy. Let's come up here now. And we can climb up here. It looks like this is some sort of worm place. I bet Mother Father's going to be some sort of giant worm thing I'm going to have to fight or interact with. Mother Father has locked this gate for our safety. But there's a save point! The outside world is a cruel evil place. The best way for us to achieve enlightenment is by keeping far from distractions. It's bad enough that you came here, stranger. Why don't you just leave? I don't want to leave! This is where a sail is. Why would worms have a sail in their possession? I have no idea. But it's where we need to be. And why we can't actually go anywhere else to find a sail is beyond me as well. Let's take a look down here. Hello, Mr. Wormy guys. Hey, brother or sister. Before the ground quake started, this place was great. All the dirt you can eat. Yummy. Dirt, 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 dirt. I like to eat dirt, but I don't like dirt falling on my head. That makes sense. I like eating food as well, but I don't think I'd like it falling on my head either. Hmm. Okay, let's take a look over here now. And wow, that is one giant worm. Hello. Stranger, why did you come here? To find a sail. A sail? Can't you see we're all about to die from cave-ins thanks to these ground quakes? And you bust in here looking for a boat sail? We can't just leave. We've spent our entire lives for countless generations isolated in this hole. 
you have any idea where you are? This tribe has existed in this cave since the great battle of Huane and the evil demon. Wow! This cave is older than civilization! After the containment fell into the ocean for our surviving, our surviving ancestors came upon the cave on the island. Well, it's not older than civilization, I guess, since the civilization existed uh, during Pangaea, but it's still pretty dang old. I'm surprised it's in contact. It's still intact, rather. Soon other creatures who had survived the catastrophe began moving in as well. But they saw that people quickly reverted to petty bickering, lies and jealousy. The ancestors believed it was these behaviours that allowed the evil demon to attack in the first place. They decided to cut us off from the rest of the world, to protect us from all the corrupting forces. But now, with all the ground quakes, our safe haven is going to be our grave. Maybe our ancestors were wrong. Stranger, I'll let you pass through our town. If you can continue from here, you'll reach the city of Samora. See if you can find out anything from the people there. Maybe there is a chance you'll be able to help us. I doubt it though. You'll probably just find your sail and leave us. Well, I'm willing to risk it. I'll have the gate opened for you. That's pretty dangerously genre savvy there, Mr. Mother Father Worm Guy. But then again, I love doing side quests and stuff, so I'll end up helping you guys anyway, I bet. What's this way, I wonder? Hello, Mr. Wormy Guy. These ground quakes keep getting worse. I'm glad you're okay, brother or sister. What? You don't know? We worms are hermaphrodites. You're not a worm? I don't understand. That's correct. Mother Father thinks she he has our best interest in mind by not allowing anyone to leave or enter. She he taught us that we are simple creatures and our only purpose is to live righteous lives. So that when we die we can be reincarnated as a more advanced species. But I've been studying the text of our four mother fathers, and I think I disagree. It seems that without hardships, conflict and temptations, one cannot reach enlightenment. I don't think we'll ever reincarnate as anything more than mere worms. Besides, it looks like this recent rash of ground quakes is going to make us all extinct. That's terrible. You shouldn't question authority like that. It's there to help us, you know. Great, now we have to go through this little side room again. Let's go through the side room again! But we've already solved the... Well, I thought we'd already solved the puzzle there, so apparently we need to drag the rock over here again and throw it back on the elevator. Uh, uh, and... Uh, there we go. Wait a second. There we go. Fantastic! Now up here. Climb! So weird looking at him climb like that. I don't think that's physically possible, but whatever. Help! During that quake, this rock fell on me. Think you can help me? I'm going to need you to go find someone strong to push this rock off me. What? You can push it? Stop joking around. Go get me help. You're stronger than you look. Yes, I'll be fine. Good thing we worms can regenerate. The quake knocked the gate down too. I guess you should get going. I'm sure Mother Father will want to have this gate repaired. One more thing. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. Nice worm guys. Much nicer than evil candy cane monsters. Let's go up here. And see what's up. There's a sheet of paper there. Let's go see what that's about. Hmm. Well, it looks like I can push this, but I think I want to push it here so I can climb up there. So how about we not push it to the wall? Push it back this way. Jump onto the rock. 
and then jump up here. Puzzle solving! Yay! Ooh, nice glowy crystals. Bust this open. Collect the bread inside it and collect the piece of paper. Bagus. Ooh, Bagus. Entry 63. Yes, yeah, 717A C. While hunting for the Echo Mirror treasure, we have stumbled on what appears to be a city of insects. At first, all the creatures we ran across either reacted violently or ran into hiding. However, Gagwin's son was able to befriend a wise-looking pillbug wearing a turban. His childlike innocence must have connected with the simple creature. A pillbug led us to the centre of the city named Samora. The city teemed with a variety of insects, from whom we were able to gather enough information to continue on our quest. Oh, wonderful. So Samora is a city of insects. I thought it was a city of people. We also learned that residents of Samora had voluntarily cut themselves off from the outside world. They worship Otis, one of the three gods thought to have created the life on the planet. They believe in living a harmonious life where every good action they do brings them closer to perfection. Sounds like Buddhism. And fear that if people from the outside world are able to come and go, corruption would follow. That explains why our reception was so lukewarm, to say the least. Oh, one more thing. Be cautious if you use if you see any small holes in the wall. They have some nasty mean worms with sharp pointy teeth. They'll jump out and attack anyone who gets close. We learned this the hard way. Ooh, so it looks like there's surprise worms out the wall. That's fantastic. But before we head off, let's have a chat to Mr. Guy down here. Okay. Hello, stranger. You look like an honest young simian. Think you can do this old man a favour? Before you answer, let me explain my situation. I can't take all these quakes we've had lately. So I sold everything I had and left with only a sack of cash. What's cash? You're kidding! Cash? Money? Dinero? Silver? Gold? Money is the most important thing in the world. With money, you can buy anything you want. Hats, for example. But it seems that during the last quake, I dropped my sack of money. I think I dropped it in this cave here next to us. I can't continue my journey without it. If you can find it for me, I'll reward you. Ooh, we like rewards. You can keep any loose coins I may have dropped along the way. Be careful, young mammal. That cave is dangerous. Ooh, looks like spike monsters. Let's see if we can go get that guy's sack of cash. Whee! Let's try to jump up here and collect the coin over here. If I get some momentum, boing, hurrah, we made it. Those um multicolored pill monster things, can I hurt them? Or are they one of those invisi types? Oops, let's just climb up and there we go. Haha, our awesome reflexes have saved us again. Alright, this time we time it and then go jump, jump, and jump. Let's collect the second cash and go bring it to Mr. Guy. Jump! Down here. Here you go, Mr. Guy. Thank you, young mammal. That's my sack, all right. Let me see here. Yep, it's all here. And it's now for your reward. Wow, that's a lot of money. Thank you, Mr. Guy. Thank you for helping me, young mammal. If you ever see any coins laying around, you should grab them. How do you think I became so rich? Not by passing up good, clean money. By the way, there's a great general store in Samora. It carries just about anything you could possibly want. I think I even saw a boat sail there once. But who would want something like that? Yeah, who would want a sail for a boat? What an utterly useless idea. What a useless contraption. Oh well, 
Time to continue on this way. We've hopefully got enough money to buy a sale. Time to see what's all about these um wall worms. Jump! Ooh, nasty big pointy teeth mouths. So jump, 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 jump. Ugh. They hurt. Oh well. Jump up here now. Can we jump up here? Come on, jump! I oh yeah, that's right. It's a small wall I can actually cross normally. <sighs> well, this is going swimmingly. Let's see if we can make it to the city of Samora. That'll be some great progress. Jump over there, save our game, and then jump up here. Jump. Hmm. I don't think I can jump up there just yet, so it looks like I need to progress over this way. Let's go in our boat and cross here. There's a hat store there, but it's covered up with vines, so I can't actually go down there yet. There's a path over this way. I wonder if this leads to anywhere good. Let's just take a quick look. Adventure games are for exploring everywhere. That pillbug looks like it's got a turban on his head. I wonder if he's our friend. Hello, friends. Welcome to my humble home. Are you here to seek answers about the old times? No? But that's what I do. Would you deprive me of my only joy in life? You see, long ago, humans and animals actually lived and worked together. Animals could wield all kinds of elemental magic. And humans had a strong grasp of science and the laws of nature. For a long time, they were able to work together, combining science and magic to create glorious cities. Or anime stereotypes. But groups of humans and animals began to distrust one another. Why? Well, there were many reasons. Regardless of why, wars began to erupt in the world. Peace was inevitably gained, but it was too late. The violence and strife had awakened an evil demon who sought the destruction of the world. You probably know the rest. I'm sure you humans haven't completely forgotten your past. Oh, how nice of him to say so. We can barely remember our own past, let alone the past of everyone. Right, door time. Are those kind of air currents? They are, that's kind of cool. But it doesn't look like I can carry them up very high. That one's a bit different. Maybe if I just enter it from a lower position, I get shot up higher. I do not understand. Wee, wee. Yeah. Let's just try to uh, make it up here and get up higher in the level. Wee. Oh come on, this is ridiculous. Uh, there we go. We got it. Ah, uh, jeez, it's the, I want to be the guy time. Uh, let's just completely screw up. Oh, uh, don't die! Uh, just run! Whew, we're almost dead. How are we going to survive? Let's see if we can just try to be careful and push this button. Which apparently does nothing. Looks like it's a puzzle though. And it's all a very obvious puzzle to not screw up the puzzle accidentally push that block there jump on this side and then push the block all the way to the wait a second did that just screw up oh what cursed blocks well since i'm nearly dead i'll try to come back down there later when the puzzle resets and now we're up here let's try that puzzle one more time we can do it! It's so simple! Although this episode is running a bit long. I hope I don't die! Let's just push it to there that time. Which gives us a little bit of room to climb onto the right. Now we jump and then go across here and then... Oh, 
wait a second, it's not lost yet. There we go. Now I have no idea what that button actually did. Probably something... Oh, do not die! Probably something meaningless or intensely important. Maybe it opened up the hat shop. Nope, it did not open up the hat shop. Hmm. Yeah. Oh man, I'm so terrified of dying. Yeah, we made it. Hurrah. Let's do this door. That progresses onwards, but before we progress onwards, let's go up. Oh jeez! Oh man, that startled me. <laughs> well, <laughs> I didn't see its eyes, so I thought, oh god, it'd be safe, and then, ah, attack. <laughs> oh well, it looks like this is um, the end of this episode. The next episode, hopefully we are able to make it up to the city of Samora. Oh, wait a second. But before we do that, treasure chest! Well, that's officially the end of this episode. Take care, everyone.